Hello, everyone. I am a Mangeka, Oich. Thank you for visiting my YouTube. This video was a special occasion as it's my first question and answer to celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers from my first YouTube channel in 2020. It has a very special meaning for all of us. And let's begin, shall we? The first question is from Shinsakarts. Voyage Sensei, I love your artworks. My question is for you. What are the qualities to adopt to become mangaka? So thanks for sharing the way you work on YouTube. I hope the best for you for the future. Thank you for your question. Your question is, what are the qualities to adapt to become a mangaka? My answer is, you need as much skill as you need. This means that by default, drawing manga can be either a realistic and detailed style or a simple cartoony style. However, Depending on what kind of art style and work you want to do, you may need good drawing skills. Could it be your manga with a simple cartoony style, right? If it does, it looks very simple to draw. But also it is difficult to draw. You have to pursue it for the rest of your life. Just like our dear Charles M. Schultz, the creator of the great masterpiece called Peanuts. But, it's easier to draw than a much more elaborate drawing, right? When drawing your character, you need to draw character eyebrows for your character. The structure, the shape, the light and shadow below. What about the eyelashes? What effect does the eyeball have? There must be some manga that you need this drawing style. Let's say, I will draw cute and simple cartoony style for the rest of my life. Draw eyes like simple dots like these. You don't have to draw this much realistic drawing scale. However, you have to study and practice as much as you need. So my answer is simple. Please study harder as much as you can. From Victor Van Hernandez Luciano. Dear Boych, I love your art so much. How do you give life to every single character? My question is I want to become a mangaka but I am not Japanese. How do I get closer to my dream? Yes, you can be a mangaka. You are not Japanese. So what? I am not a Japanese either. It has nothing to do with nationality or race to be a mangaka. Let me please ask you a question. Is there a comic market in your country? Manga, comics, webtoon, any comic forms and their unique market in your country. If there is a market in your country, you can start to work as an author. If you are living in a French speaking country, you would have a chance to work as an author in the French comic industry, right? If you are living in an English speaking country, then you can start your career as an author in the US. My advice is this. First, I recommend that you become an author in your country. But the main point of your questions is this. Can the foreign artist work as a mangaka in Japan? The answer I can give you is the same. If you are a foreign artist, first, you need to become an author in your country. I visited Germany once, and I met a mangaka in Germany. If you are living in a country that is growing the comics and manga market and industry there, then I highly recommend you to work as a professional author there first. I met a very talented mangaka in Germany named Nanaya. I received her book with her autograph as a gift. After some time, I heard that her work would soon be adapted into an animation in the US. Be the mangaka, even if you are a foreigner. Yes, no problem. You can be a mangaka. But the best way is to become a professional author in your own country and start your career there. I am Korean. And I started my career as a professional author in my home country. And now, I am working in Japan as a mangaka. So you can do it too. Don't worry about it too much. But remember this. 
you have to work hard to become a mangaka. If you're a foreign artist aiming to be a professional mangaka in Japan, then you must study and work hard. You must develop your skills that will impress Japanese editors. Now, what is the way to become a mangaka? And where to study? How about this? Please visit my YouTube channel from time to time. And feel free to share any questions or concerns you may have. I'll do my best to provide helpful answers. Thank you for sending me your questions, and I hope my answer helps you. And good luck to you. From Nacho Eresia. I've always been amazed by your brush inking abilities. I'm currently doing a manga to participate in the international category of Tetsuka's award. And I would love to take my inking to the next level. Any advice on techniques to master the brush like that? What types of brushes and inks do you use? Traditional technique. Wow. Tetsuka Manga Award? It's so cool. Thank you for your question, and good luck to you. The Manga Contest. Okay, this is an excellent time to talk about it. I'm going to tell you something you've never heard before. What's the purpose of submitting your work to a manga contest? They will pick up many good talents and works from the manga contest, right? The editors and publishers, for example. They will select the first grand prize, and second awards, and honorable winners. Let's say they pick up 10 good works of the 1000 submissions. 1000 submissions are too many? Well, it's just an example. Let's calculate it like that. The probability is 1 in 100. The chances of winning a prize are 1%. It's a 1% chance if you get in. The remaining 99% of works will be eliminated. Everyone wishes to win the grand prize. However, the winner is only one. The chance is only 0.1%. 999 aspiring artists will be eliminated in the manga contest. Is it the purpose of the contest to cut off the 99.9% .9 no winners? And just pick for 0.1% of the grand prize winner? Are they trying to make them feel frustrated? No. Absolutely not. If your goal is to win the prize in the contest, most fail. But that is not the purpose. The reason why the manga contest is held every year is to improve the skills of aspiring artists and provide them with motivation and purpose in their work. The goal is to encourage them to study harder and strive to enhance their skills for the next level. If you're lucky, you could get a chance to listen to advice or direction from publishers and editors, professionals in the field. It's an amazing opportunity for you even if you don't win the contest. So, you're challenging the Tetsuka Manga Contest? Good luck to you. And please remember this. The purpose of the Manga Contest is not just about winning. It's about experiencing failure. That's right. You're going to do and finish your work from start to end. Regardless of the outcome of the contest. The contest gives you the motivation. Try your best. Finish your work that you haven't finished yet. That is the purpose. So don't worry about winning or not too much. No worry. Just try. And try again. And make errors and try again. One thing you should keep in your mind is never give up. Then, someday, you will get an email or a phone call from the contest. Then you don't believe what you heard, like, What? Am I winning the contest? Really? Congratulations. But this is not the end. You are in the next stage. Winning the contest is only the new beginning. So keep work hard as you can. Don't be afraid to lose or fail. Keep it up. And as for questions about inking. For beginners, the inking practice looks like this. Well, it's also for advanced levels too. So, practice like this. With your pen, draw the long lines like these. Sidelines. 
from up to down lines. Twister. Waves. Scratching. You can do it like this. River. You know. Practicing the pen lines is the most boring part of studying manga. So many people don't like to do it well. But it is essential, and the most basic. I know it is very dull. I understand. But if you enjoy this boring practice, and if you keep doing it, what could happen to you? Every footstep you take, everything about manga study and work will be exciting. You will enjoy and feel creating manga is so fun. So you will improve your skills day by day. But please don't put too much of your passion into pen line practice only. There are many things you need to study. Inking is essential to do a lot. But focus on how to draw good looking lines. Think and draw the line you to draw. The most important thing about inking is to draw as long a line as possible. Remember, this is a study of how to draw the line. Always focus on the line you're drawing. Draw as long a line as possible. When you draw faces, arms, draw the longest lines you can. If you only practice drawing short and sharp lines, your skills will remain the same. When you draw your first long pen line, you will see the difference with your own eyes. It's not pretty as you think, and you don't want to draw it anymore. You may turn around and go back to draw short lines again. But please, don't do that. Please don't. If you want to be a pro mangaka, practice drawing long lines. And what brush am I using? The brush I am using is. For now, as you can see, I'm drawing my manga digitally. This is the brush I used. There is a long handle. But I cut it in half. And wrapped it with the tissue. This is what I am using for work. Here is the new one that I haven't opened yet. Basically, it used to look like this. It is quite expensive. 3000 yen for a single brush. I bought this brush a few months ago when its price was cheaper. So now it might be more expensive than the regular price. So this is my work brush. And it's a very light and sensitive brush that I can order from the store. I put ink with the tip of the brush. Just this much. If the tip of the brush gets damaged, I can't work with. The brush's lifespan is very short, so I try to use it carefully. Sometimes, I work on many pages with one brush. While other times, I need a single brush for just one page. For me, I prefer a light and sensitive brush. But it depends on the condition of the brush. I only put ink on the tip, that's all I need. If I'm lucky, I can use my brush a little longer. Maybe a month. The brush's condition is the most important thing I consider. How well it holds the ink and stays on the tip determines its longevity. It may have a longer lifespan if I use it carefully. But it is too expensive. 
3,000 yen for a single brush? I bought 100 of them when they were on discount. But still. It is an expensive brush, indeed. I changed the brush many times. These are some old brushes I used. There are some more. The ink that I use is. In my case, I use very cheap ink that you can find in every store in Japan. I tried some expensive ink, but the cheaper one is good. 